incredibly proud of this hockey team. We had a solid first period. We built on it. We got better in the second period. We had excellent special teams play, and we never wavered in the third. No matter what they threw at us, uh, no matter the situation, really proud of our hockey team and the growth that they continue to uh, just do every day. Unbelievably proud. Coach, kind of back and forth first period, um, and then you took control early in the second, obviously the two goals. What was the difference coming into the second period? We just stuck with the game plan. We, we just, we've developed so much poise, continue to get even more consistent, and just really pleased with a combination of physical effort and great patience tonight. Uh, it looked like Whitlinger, she was standing pretty tall in net for you guys tonight. Um, any comments on her game specifically? So proud of Celine Whitlinger. What a competitor. Just a fabulous performance for us. Uh, just happy for her and really proud of her. And um, do you think some of her big uh, saves kind of like gave momentum to the rest of the team a little bit? Like, do you think the rest of the team kind of uh, picked up their play in front of her for a little bit? Uh, absolutely. Uh, huge saves uh, for us at any number of occasions. It just really gave the bench a lift, and uh, our bench did a great job of responding accordingly. Coach, uh, touch a little bit more on the defense um, as a whole. Um, again, the second period was kind of comfortable with the two of lead. In the third period, they brought a little bit more got that late goal. How are you guys able to, to stand tall and get the 2-1 the win? Great points. Just keep focus on process. Make every shift the same, shift after shift, and that's how you give yourself opportunities for great success. And against a, a, a ranked Mercyhurst team, like, what does this say about the team and the program, where it's going? Uh, what does this win mean for the, for the program? It says everything about those kids in that locker room. I am honored every day and blessed to coach such a fabulous group that just represents Penn State so well. Just really proud of them and honored to be their coach. Both of you scored. Uh, could you guys both take us through both your goals, what you saw, and how it finished up? Um, well, with mine, I got a nice pass from Amy on the wall, and I really just I saw a girl coming at me, and I just thought, just shoot, put it on net, because I saw I had Laura down low, too, in case there was a rebound. So just threw it on net and hoped for the best. Um, on mine, Laura really did all the work. She made a nice play and like beat two defenders, and all I had to do was hit it home. She made a great pass, too. And Amy, we talked earlier this week about how I mean, you've experienced the lowest points against playing against this really good Mercy Hurst team, and how good is it to finally get that first victory against the Lakers? Um, it definitely feels really good. It's a huge change from last year. We've come such a long way, and we've done it all as a team. Everyone worked hard together to, to get this win tonight, so it was great to do that together. What did you guys think of Celine Mike? She was stopping some serious pucks in front of that. She definitely kept us in the game. There were a lot of amazing saves she made that I had no idea how she did and really kept us in the game. You guys talk about the second period a little bit. Um, first was kind of back and forth. You guys come out in the second, get the two goals, and kind of took control in the second period. What was the difference in that, um, in that period? I think just persistency. We, I mean, the first period, like you said, it was back and forth, but um, we stuck with our game plan, and I think things just started clicking. And once we got the goals, I mean, it definitely just helped with the momentum. Keep it going. Keep it rolling. How do you guys keep the, How do you guys keep the momentum going into tomorrow afternoon's game? I think we go into it looking like looking at it like a brand new game. I mean, it's zero zero again. Like tonight doesn't matter when tomorrow comes around. We'll enjoy this win tonight, but tomorrow's a whole new day, and we have to come back and work our hardest again, work together as a team. Last question, special teams doing good things again tonight. How does that continue to click, and why is it finding so much success lately? I think just relying on each other and um, sticking with the system. They're looking for the open opportunities when they come. It's, it's been a lot of fun working with the girls on the power play, and um, obviously the penalty kill's been doing pretty well, too, and we just want to keep that up, stick to the game plan, and keep things simple.